Hello everyone and welcome to part two of the podcasting roadmap. I'm Jill Baton of Bear Radio and today I'll be focusing mostly on post-production and marketing and monetization. If you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and check out our video on developing your pre-production roadmap. At this point in your podcasting journey, you're probably deep in production and excited to get your project out into the world. But how do you get your podcast out there to millions of listeners? Well, once it's finished, you'll need to put your podcast online so that it can be found. In order to add your podcast to Spotify, Apple, Stitcher, all of the different podcatchers, you'll need to choose a hosting platform to upload the audio itself. It doesn't just go on those platforms automatically. Once you've uploaded your first episode or your trailer and you have an RSS feed, you'll be able to go into all those podcatchers and add your podcast to their platform. There are a bunch of these podcast hosting platforms such as Anchor, Buzzsprout, Spreaker, and some are free to use. Some you do have to pay for, but what's also really nice is you can make it so that this is where all of your analytics are stored. You usually have to pay the more analytics that you want to see, but you'll be able to see where your listeners are, how long they listen, what platforms they're listening on. Those analytics can get really detailed nowadays. While you don't need to have a website for your podcast, it's a great idea to have a landing page where listeners and fans can learn more about you and your project. It's also a great way to share transcripts, extra content, and other updates that you might have. We also recommend having at least one social media channel for your podcast. You can use this cool website called Linktree to link your podcast to your social media page. It makes it really easy for your listeners to find you and go ahead and listen. Next, you'll be able to launch your podcast and share it with the world. We recommend creating and publishing a trailer for your podcast, and sometimes it takes a few days to populate in certain podcatchers. Plus, a trailer is a great way to spark some initial interest for your project. Speaking of interest, you'll need to learn more about your potential audience and how you can market your podcast to them. Marketing is a huge part of the podcasting roadmap, and you'll need to have a plan to make sure that your potential audience finds you and that your listeners come back for more. You can definitely consider traditional advertising or paying for ads on LinkedIn, Google, Instagram, and more, but I would recommend that you set up a membership platform like Patreon or Steady for your podcast. You'll be able to build a community of your listeners and have an ongoing income from membership donations. It's never too early to start thinking about membership for your audience. If they care about your project, they'll want to support you. Now, you'll definitely have to nudge listeners both in the podcast and on your social media. Nobody will know you have a Patreon unless you actually publicize it. Um, but once you have that community of faithful listeners supporting you, you'll feel rewarded and motivated to continue the great work you've been doing. If you have any questions or need some advice on creating a podcast of your own, head over to bearradio.org and also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next month. Bye bye!